hi guys thank you for tuning in today and i specifically want to thank you so much for the love and the kindness and the support that i got from the first video i want to specifically thank everyone who watched those who liked the video those who commented those who sub those who shared to their friends Special shout out to all the subscribers, baby. Thank you, thank you so much. Get yourself a glass and let us do this new journey. And all those who haven't, please do, please do. You won't regret it, I promise. So today we are making poly gel nails from scratch. What I'm doing here is just pushing back the cuticles, with the cuticle pusher, and the liquid I'm using here is some um, it's it's just an antiseptic yeah it softens the cuticle some people use lanolin or cuticle cream or even street cuticle cuticle something cuticle softener and i've tried these other types of cuticle softeners and they didn't work for me for example the cuticle Healing in a car liquid, like a, like a thick liquid. I don't know the exact name, it's usually in a bottle. The problem with that one was that actually, in a make the nail plate in a quite yellow, it decolorizes the like nail plate. And the other one, the cream, both types of cream, there are very many. They leave a, like an oily residue on the nail, so the whatever you're putting it on. I don't know, it's like so after pushing back the cuticles the next step is to find the the nail plate to remove the shine. The shine is usually very oily, so after doing that you're not supposed to touch any part of the skin that your skin or the, or your hair that's oily or any food. So that's done. And this is the type of tips I'm currently using. You pick the tip according to the size of your nail. And since this is my hand, I know the sizes. And this is the type of glue I'm using. You realize it's, it's written in, in English. Kuna ile ngine chinku in like Dubois. Ha! Dubois! There's a chinku one, it's written in Chinese, and if you're not keen, you will buy the other one. Yeah, so stay woke, sis. When placing it, make sure there's no air bubble that's getting inside your nail. You should be gentle, and at the same time, you should like press it harder on your nail plate. You get? Yeah. So you do that for every other nail and voila, here we have it. This is called a tip cutter. Uh, where you can locally get it, ni the boys, the boah. Yeah, after that, you are supposed to file it. I feel like filing requires a whole entire video because there are angles that you are supposed to stick to. Like for this particular set, I was going for coffin nails. So away from this, how are you guys doing? What's your current struggles? Comment down below. <laughs> Mine currently is sticking to my routines. Yeah. I've discovered that where I'm at physically or mentally determines how I do my stuff. And that's not a good thing. Uh, at this point, um, any other normal person would have gone to the sink to wash their hands and clean the dust. But I'm just using my, my cotton wool and some acetone to like dust off the nails. This is usually harder because 
you now have to go through the process of removing the cotton from the nail anyway after filing so this is the type of base cotton i'm using like akuna any any quality i can tell you that this is the best just use whatever you have yeah so back to my topic of discussion you realize how sometimes you could be somewhere physically like for example you are at home and maybe you start what you you want to start living healthy or maybe start working out or start eating okay you just want to adapt a certain like lifestyle and maybe in your head you're telling yourself i think mimi when i move out or when i when i move to this other place or when i go back to school like you have this excuse of why you, you don't want to start at that particular point that's so bad so this thing here folks it's called a dumping dish it's used to store like maybe acetone or a liquid monomer when you're working on acrylic or polygel sets since i'm using a i'm working on acrylic so i don't necessarily need a monomer i can use my acetone so this is the type of poly gel that i'm using it's pink number one and it's called refund yes mimi sasa you are truly i saw this trick of using yeah you, you see what i'm doing at you do that like a mini in it was a toothpaste <laughs> i saw it from vic poly gel or poly gel by vic and it, it didn't work for me as you can see this is a lot of product i'm using i'll soon get rid of it but you don't have to apply a lot of product you'll have such a hard time fine you can continue watching whatever i'm doing as i talk about whatever i was talking about before yeah so like that kind of mentality can really frustrate you if you, if you are facing that situation why you have to go back to let's say home if you are in school or just where you came from yeah i'm dipping this brush in the acetone liquid before putting it on the poly gel because poly gel is usually known as also known as gum gel because it's so sticky otherwise this could, this could have been a messy very very messy video So apart from this method of application you can use a spatula this cuticle pusher the other end of the cuticle pusher by scooping the poly gel from the from the paste from the from the chupa from the chupa <laughs> not stress me So back to our topic of discussion please tell me down in the comments Like how do you stick to your habits or how do you stick to your routines how do you make them your habits like wherever you are whether you're walking in fire or dancing in, in a garden you're supposed to do certain things because I'm a Pisces I like to be in control I like to know where I'm at what I'm feeling how I, how I'm doing what I'm about to do who I surround myself with The plan on the ring finger is to do the broken tail delusion. I had I have two options. You have two options. You can either apply the the complete set on the on the notch on the nail and the tip and then later on covering it up with the poly gel or the vice versa. But since I was using the nail strips, I had to do this way. Make sure you apply two coats before doing the artwork.
remember guys there's no such thing as neat art so anything you can do as long as you can cover it up or make it cute it's artistic Yo, this is a brush nail set that's a must have for any nail tech, any, any nail art artist. <laughs> So this is the nail strip I was talking about. It's like a slim cell tip and it comes in very many different colors. They were like 30. I, I got them from Kili Mode. So after the application, this is just a cover up to, to level the nail because we were going for poly gel. So this is the clear poly gel you're applying on top of the of the art so that you can see what's going on underneath after complete application the first step is to wipe off the tacky layer that's very important so that you don't ruin your files So here's the part that requires maximum attention, filing. So in the spirit of TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See the magic is magic. Boom. Ba. <laughs> it's washed and clean. So after all that work, I decided bado bado. This wasn't enough for me. I wanted to go with the silhouette of a woman. So whatever shape or form the woman was coming in, it had to be on my knee. This is after 52 attempts. 52. I'm not even exaggerating. But since I had already made my mind up and decided that I'm going to do it, <laughs> whatever, whatever method, however long. So this is how my woman ended up looking. Mini lishindo kuchora kichwake namkono moja. So sini blame. I'm not an artist. <laughs> I was just so determined not to quit because when you this is so hard. Any other normal person would have bought the stickers. So this is a lesson. I'm applying the match top coat. And the ring finger, we are going with gloss. 